bring you those Kia starting lineups. The Magpies, Kyle. Well, three-match winless streak was snapped with the win against Leicester, and Benitez doesn't change the side. Same group that went out last game, and Ki Sung Young and, and Isaac Hayden establishing a good partnership in the central midfield role. Matt Ritchie really enjoying this wingback role. Amaran has come on and played so well, just needs to start getting in the goals and assists and run down up top. The Saints, Robbie Earl. At the back of Esther Gordon, I quote here, Rebecca has a little problem, so Stevens comes in as the third centre-back. The Vistal, James Wood-Prowse, he's playing the wing-back role. Romeo and Hoybe, they'll work for possession. Head of them, Redmond's looking more like himself. He got a brace last time out. Josh Sims assisted one of those goals. Danny Ing's got a club high, seven Premier League goals, although he's not scored since December. At the back, Angus Gunn seems to be Ralph Hassenhurdle's goalkeeper of choice. The 23-year-old is keeping the much more experienced Fraser Forster on the bench. Gunn makes his eighth straight Premier League start. From wherever you're watching us across the United States, welcome to glorious Tyneside in the far northeast of England. St James's Park is one of the most atmospheric arenas in English football. And today the Toon Army's beloved Newcastle United in the black and white stripes know that a win here over Southampton, coupled with a Cardiff City defeat to Liverpool tomorrow, will confirm their Premier League safety for another season. Southampton in the yellow, their change trip. They could also use a soothing three points to ease any lingering relegation fears they have. Three wins in the last four have seen the Saints five points clear of the trap door. We should be in for a slightly nervy, but hopefully entertaining 90 minutes, Graham. So, good afternoon to you. Ings wins the ball back for his side, and he's got support. Redmond ahead of him. Tries to flick it through towards Sims, and it's ushered back to his goalkeeper by Paul Dummett, and that was a good opportunity for Southampton. Oh, the ball wouldn't settle down for Danny Ings. He just worked really hard to block Cher. All ricochets off him, and it's a fantastic first touch, but sort of gets stuck under his feet a little bit. Just allows Dummett to get back into a position to recover. You can see Hassan Hurtle disappointed with the lack of quality in a really good area for Southampton. It's comfortably dealt with by Dubravka, but they've got a chance here. Oh dear, now then, this is a big decision. It's a yellow card, it's not the denial of an obvious goal-scoring opportunity that far out. And it's extremely clever by James Ward-Prowse, because it's ten yards inside the Newcastle half. Rafa Benitez and the Newcastle staff are arguing that should be a red card. It would have been two on one, and the one being the goalkeeper, Graham, but it's a long, long way out. Needs a rule change if you want to give him a red card here, unfortunately, because it's deliberate. Cynical deserves a red card, but the referee is looking at the situation thinking, is that denial of a clear and obvious goal scoring opportunity is inside his own half when he gets challenged? So, whether you like it or not, it's a yellow card offence. Shida, Hoybe under pressure. Perez, oh, terrific finish, absolutely brilliant, in front of the Gallagate end. And moments after that controversial challenge by James Ward-Prowse, Newcastle make up for it, and they take the lead. Perez with the vital goal at Leicester a couple of weeks ago, now has the opener here against Southampton. Newcastle 1, Southampton 0. It's the best possible response, isn't it? It's a ball into Hoiber who gets intercepted by Hayden, and it's all about Perez. Good strength. He manages to shove Yoshida out the way there, and it's a snapshot through the legs of Bednarak, I think. There it goes, and Gunn can't do anything other than watch that go in off the inside of the post. Perfect response, given the controversy of what happened no more than five minutes ago. Ronda onto that loose ball. Amaron to his side, he crosses it towards Perez, oh, it's number two! Ayosi Perez is on fire! Terrific from the Toon Army, 
and they have a cushion as they inch towards Premier League safety. Newcastle 2, Southampton 0. Well, they're all fired up, aren't they? After the controversy of the Ward Prowse challenge. And again, it's loose by Southampton. Rondon's the first on to it, first to react. And this is quality. Look at Perez bottom of the screen. Look how hard he's working to create space. Brilliant awareness by Rondon. He's got his head up the whole way. Plays it into that space, takes the keeper out with the pass. And the finish is into the ground. And that bounce is what gets over the despairing goalkeeper. Was able to get the foul. Rondon into suit. Lovely first touch, Salomon Rondon against Yoshida. And Yoshida regained his strength. There's a chance of another counter-attack here for Newcastle United. Almiron running at Stevens. On his left foot, into the area. Almiron with the cross. Rondon blocked! Lost uh, a lot of impetus before the appointment of Hassan Hurtle. Here's Redmond. They've got men over on this left-hand side. Lamina again, and he scores! It's a terrific finish! And they have men over there as well, but we've got a game on here. They deserve to get back into the game on their performance in the second half so far, and all of a sudden the nerves will set in in St James's Park. A 300-mile trip, suddenly worth it. Newcastle 2, Southampton 1. It's a complete contrast in both teams' performance. First half, Newcastle, and this by Southampton is fantastic. Newcastle players on this occasion dropping off. Lamina with a poor shot. Previously, this one is fantastic. Armstrong gets the touch. Lamina takes control and just bends it into that corner. Plenty of time. Armstrong again. Crowd getting restless. He was aiming for Nathan Redman. Redman gets there. Dubravka was all over the place. So was Matt Ritchie. And the upshot is they get away with it, but concede a corner. Complete chaos there, wasn't it? It was a hopeful ball into the area. Dubravka starts coming out, that's a signal to the players to let him have it, and then he's suddenly stopped. Diame. Cross takes a deflection, Rondon was there, the header comes in, the flick and the goal! Ayosi Perez has his first ever hat-trick for Newcastle United! And the points will be staying on town side. And Newcastle will play another season at least in the Premier League. His first hat trick since 2014 in the Spanish second division. For Tenerife, I think. It's a question whether he's offside, Arlo. Certainly the Zapton players thought he was. It's cleared. By Bednara, he's not offside. Ward Prowse claimed that he was when running over to the assistant referee. Reacts really well. The initial clearance is awkward. Bednarak's going backwards. He just gets a bit of height on it. Very brave by Ritchie. And there's not enough pace on that, I don't think. The original header to beat Gunning the Southampton goal. But he's going left, and suddenly Perez deflects it right in the centre of the goal. He's been the best player by a long shot for Newcastle. This afternoon, Iosi Perez deserved that hat-trick. To pick up the relegation battle under title race, a three points from safety. But that should seal another season in the Premier League for Rafa Benitez and Newcastle United. Iosi Perez with his first Magpies hatchet. There is the table. Newcastle, 10 clear of the drop zone. They're not going down this season. Southampton, they could use another win. They're five points clear. It will get a bit tight if Cardiff can shock Liverpool tomorrow. And we'll wait and see what happens. Hi, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings on NBCSN.